We've been uh, receiving a multitude of inquiries from the CIDA community concerning the susceptibility of patients with CIDA disease to coronavirus. Let me make clear from the very beginning that, you know, people with CIDA disease are not immunocompromised patients. If um, affected by an active uh, CIDA disease, of course, the immune system works not 100% and therefore the susceptibility to contract infections, including coronavirus, is increased. However, if well treated, uh, the susceptibility is like the general population and the same rules apply. And the rules are the ones that have been dictated by the CDC and uh, the NIH. So um, the common sense is to avoid the crowded situation, to avoid personal greetings like shaking hands and kisses. And uh, the first signs of uh, flu-like symptoms, including uh, uh, runny nose, cough, uh, shorter breath of fever, to quarantine ourselves at home until uh, uh, you know the coronavirus infection has been confirmed or ruled out. Um, I have to say that unfortunately there is a lot of disinformation on the web, uh, and some people they um, you know come up with information they are not trustworthy. Um, the ones that they are really evidence-based are the one that comes from authority like the OMS that, by the way, declared this a pandemic situation, so it will uh, hit worldwide and already 150 countries have been involved and uh, the CDC and the NIH. Um, I will really urge everybody to take this seriously and to take, uh, you know, the precautions that have been uh, given to us and not to underestimate the situation. Um, you know, anything else than uh, uh, what the trustworthy authority were telling us is something that I would take with great level of caution.